Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today, we're getting a look at Horizon Chase 2 on the Xbox Series S, and uh, let's get in to it. First of all, let's see how much data this game is. And that's 13 GB, that's a lot. Um, the game is not on Game Pass, and normally it's like 25 euros. And you can get it now for like 20 euros off. Uh, uh, yeah. The game is fully optimized for new gen consoles, Xbox, Gen 9, Gen Scarlet, but also more on that later. Let's go, uh, go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me, it means even more for the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a daily basis. New games, old games, updates on games. Sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there. So first of all, big shout out to the people at uh, Epic Games for sending me a key to this game. I, I actually played the first one. It was quite fun. It was a smaller indie game. So, you know, I was expecting... Uh, something more of this game but i personally think they didn't deliver but yeah let's go uh, go start it up so the game itself looks okay i think they have used unreal engine 5 not completely sure on that one but um, it's it's well, in terms of graphics, it looks to be like 1440p, but I thought, yeah, no, this game could run easily at 120 FPS, but it isn't. It's 60 FPS all the way through. It's, in my opinion, not a graphically demanding game for the Series S or any console. I think this game could even run on a mobile, what, 90% of the mobile devices. And, um, yeah. It's it's nothing special. Also, in terms of gameplay, they 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 sell it like a um, ode to uh, classic games like um, uh, Outrun and some other games, and it's not quite there. If I have to be honest, it's way way too easy, like way too easy, and. Um, yeah, this is my, my first outrun, in my opinion. You know, it's not a bad game. Everything works like it should be. Uh, it looks super colorful. Um, you can play it online if you want to. But is this worth 20 bucks? No. No, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna say, uh, yeah, give it a go or anything. You know, if you can get this game for cheap when it's on sale or anything for like uh, five bucks or so, then I think it's a fine game. You know, it's. But this game is actually more made for like the youngest of youngest players. It's so ultra mega super easy. Has no <clears throat> different things going on for it, you know. Eh. Even the AI is meh at best. You know, in terms of graphic, there's nothing wrong with this game. You know, it's not like I'm bashing on it or anything, like saying it's a bad game or so. No. But I found it really funny when they said, yeah, it's a really access, easy accessible game. Well, it's super accessible because literally everybody that, yeah, has a hand. What? I don't even think you need hands for this game. It's, it's that easy, you know. You could literally play this game with one hand.
here. You can upgrade your cars a little bit. You can... <sighs> now, I really wish I could say it's like a fun arcade racer that, that gives you a little bit of extra. But also, in terms of graphics, it's it's not bad. It's just nothing special. Then again, this game is also out on Nintendo Switch. And this game probably also runs 60 FPS on the Nintendo Switch. So that should say enough. It has some decent music. Pancakes. It's like these uh, things the driver constantly says. Sometimes it's a little bit cringe worthy. This is definitely an arcade racer for the smallest of smallest gamers out there. Even if you don't steer, right now I'm not even steering. Yeah, then that happens. <laughs> but it also it already yeah steers with you. Second place. Yeah. Date the car all of me. <laughs> Let's do one. Green. Green levels are always hard. And I still have a feeling that it doesn't affect the game at all. Or the race at no nothing. It doesn't do a thing. You know, in terms of art style and graphics, I do think that they have something here. Now they just need to make a good game out of it. You know, I wouldn't be... I would love to see something like a, a spiritual successor to something like Outrun uh, on the on the Xbox, on the original Xbox. I think that was called Outrun 1 or 1 or 2 or something. I would have zero problems with something like that. If it's well made. just so little gameplay here and I even the achievement I think you could easily play this game in a couple of hours and you have like a thousand gamer score points for it It feels like it's on rails. That's the best way to describe this game. An on rails racer. 
You know, when you when you were young, you had like this 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 little car with the batteries in it, and there was like a a spinning uh, piece of paper, and you could drive over it. This is that game. This is literally that game. But the next gen version of it. <laughs> Yeah, you guys. Um, this is Horizon Chase on the Xbox Series S. <sighs> if you have younger children that want a fun race game, I could highly recommend it. If you want a um, arcade racer for yourself, don't get anywhere near this one. Even for only if it's like dirt, dirt, dirt cheap for like five bucks or so. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another one. <laughs> Bye.